hey guys today i am going to show you the uh, quick discovery and uh, schedule discovery so let's get started i will go into the mid server first to get the ip address we are going to copy the ip address from mid server and uh, put it in the uh, quick discovery so this is the mid server we have which is already running as we discussed in the last video so here we do have this ip address i will copy this ip address and uh, paste it in the quick discovery so i just going into the schedule discovery sorry if we put discovery it will come So here there is a quick discovery option is there. So if you click this quick discovery, I can provide the public IP address of the uh, this mid server. So the mid server is already uh, auto. Uh, it's it will be auto populated because it's we do have only one mid server in in our instance. So I will click OK. So the discovery state in the discovery status there is an discovery has been working. So it will take some time to show you the discovery log devices EC secure. So this kind of things you can able to see. So what are all the uh, logs are available whenever we do the quick discovery we can able to check in here so here there is a it will be uh, showing about our uh, device which is uh, source ip cmdb uh, name uh, clarific uh, which uh, port is showing uh, those kind of things are uh, showing in here the in the devices there is only one device we are uh, doing the discovery so it's showing only one device only so in our eccq there is a sajam prop wma runner those kind of things are running we are just uh, monitoring this, this kind of things so these things are populating once we done the quick discovery uh, we just want to do one uh, schedule discovery now I will uh, before doing this quick uh, schedule discovery I just check whether my discovery uh, discovered ca has been uh, ref reflected in the discovery da uh, dashboard or not so i'm just going into the discovery home so here we can able to monitor the uh, discovered devices whatever the errors are coming we can able to monitor it in here so it's loading here in the discover devices we can able to see once the, the devices has been discovered so now i just uh, re, uh, refresh this uh, same uh, discovery status again so the cmdb underscore ci the ip once the ip address is coming uh, and also the status completed means we can able to uh, see the discovered devices and also here the whole uh, status has been completed so all the uh, classification uh, identification all the kind of uh, uh, stages has been completed so the thing is identification classification uh, can be uh, done 
by uh, windows server so this those kind of uh, stages has been monitored in here what are all the if if you have any errors if you have any other uh, things are going on we can able to track it in the log in the devices we can able to show uh, see the device how the device is manufacturing serial number those kind of things we can able to check in here so cmdb underscore ca this is our uh, ca so it's showing the windows server so in the windows server we do have the ip address this is uh, once we do the quick discovery those kind of uh, details we can able to get it so this is our ca so that's it so uh, we done the quick discovery i am just going to show you the uh, schedule discovery so before we do the schedule discovery i just showing this even once we create a schedule discovery here it will be uh, showing us one okay so let's get started for the schedule discovery again i will go for a schedule discovery So here we we are in the discovery schedule. I just going to create a, a new discovery schedule. I am providing the name of the discovery schedule. I just uh, uh, pro providing of my windows. Server discovery. So here there is a specific mid server. There is one mid server is there. So I just selecting this one. Then I just submit this this schedule discovery. Once I submit this one, uh in the quick ranges we need to provide the ip address so in our first class i just provide our uh, it's server uh, ip address so in the later session we will see for uh, linux and also uh, any other if you uh, provide uh, as per the uh, servers we can able to uh, put the uh, ip address so now i will just uh, provide the uh, mid server's ip address and uh, click make ranges once i done it's it, it will load and then uh, it will be showing this uh, ip uh, discovery ip ranges in the related list so i just uh, do the discover now before uh, i'm going into the discover now i just check if it's any uh, schedules are available or not so now i can able to uh, see this one the value is created schedule is one discover devices when we do the quick discovery this value has been populated so now i just do the quick discovery sorry uh, discover now uh, we we just do the discover now with this uh, uh, schedule discovery and also before we do the discover now uh, we can i will just show you uh, this can be uh, the this discovery schedule can be uh, run by uh, daily weekly monthly periodically those kind of whenever we do the, some inputs this discovery will be uh, running so uh, i just provide on demand and uh, put a discover now because we are just uh, um, testing those kind of uh, discovery schedules so i just uh, do the discover now now I, I click the discover now it will creating one uh, discovery status number so once the it will take some time uh, once the state is changing into uh, active to completed uh, it will be we can able to see the devices the discovery full logs and also the 
identification uh, classification and uh, other uh, kind of uh, stages we can able to see so this is our uh, discovery schedule and also if uh, i will just show you uh, when while it's completing i just show you the show you about the credentials so let me going into the credential So here we we are already having this uh, Windows Mid Server Service Account credential. So this is already active. If we deactivate this uh, credential, it the this kind of uh, discovery won't be run. It will get a error. So I will show you once this uh, discovery getting completed. So it's getting completed now. The state is completed. So let me check. So all the things are done. Classification, uh, uh, Windows classification has been done. So all the uh, session props are populated. All the classification has been populated. Uh, so uh, once we uh, once the identification uh, stage has been completed, uh, that is uh, that is uh, one classification and then exploration should need to complete after the exploration uh, can be completed then only the state can be changing into completed so now uh, i just uh, deactivate this uh, windows service account credential so now i am going to discover again with our existing uh, discovery schedule so let's check so now uh, before we do the discovery schedule I just check the discovery uh, things. So this is the discover device one, a schedule is one. Because why it's not pop changing into uh, two? Because the only one device only can be uh, populating a second time. So uh, if if we change any other IP address with a different uh, sk uh, the discovery schedule, it will be showing us a uh, as two discover devices but in the two times we are uh, doing the discover discover device but the two times the ip address is the same so only one device can be discovered so uh, i just uh, do that same uh, ip address discovery uh, let's check if uh, without a credential so we are uh, deactivating the credential so let's check how the discovery is working now so i'm going back I go to the discovery schedule. So now uh, I just uh, again do the quick discovery. If we click this discover now, it will be uh, taking us a quick discovery. So it's creating another discovery with the same IP address. This IP address only we are using now. So in the for further class, we will uh, uh, change the other mid, uh, IP addresses and then we will check. So now I just show you how the credential is uh, working. So I am just uh, refreshing this one. So once the uh, state has been completed, uh, the device is not getting populated. CMDB CA is not getting populated uh, because the classification classification is not completed due to that uh, credential issue. Because we are deactivating the credential, so it's it will it's it won't be uh, getting the getting into the classification phase. In the log also, we can able to uh, see no credential found for type windows. Like this, we are getting this uh, error. So, uh, for this kind of errors also, we can able to see it in the discovery home. So, you can see the error, right? So, you can able to understand how this uh, values can be populated, right? So, once we created a schedule, the 
டிஸ்கவரி ஸ்கெடியூல் வேல்யூ கேன் பி பாப்புலேட்டட் ஒன்ஸ் த டிஸ்கவர் டிவைசஸ் ஒன்ஸ் வி டூ த குயிக் டிஸ்கவரி த டிஸ்கவர் டிவைசஸ் கெட்டிங் பாப்புலேட்டட் தென் ஒன்ஸ் வி கெட் த எரர் த கிரிடென்ஷியல் எரர் த எரர் ஆல்சோ கெட்டிங் பாப்புலேட்டட் இஃப் வி கிளிக் திஸ் வி எரர் Uh, we can able to see which uh, what is the exact error for uh, for our windows server so let me check no credential found so for this error they are also uh, making this uh, recommendations so we should need to uh, create a new uh, windows credential or, or else we can able to do the retry discovery if we activate this windows credential if we do the retry discovery the error will go uh, go the error will be uh, getting into zero error will be fixed but uh, our plan is we just want to uh, create a new windows credential so we will see it in the next video uh, thank you for watching my video uh, as of now uh, we will uh, see it in the next class